welcome parents, community, and members of the Board of Education and special guests to the commencement ceremony of the Grape Creek High School Class of 2020. I want to thank you on behalf of the senior class for sharing this celebration of their accomplishments and their passage into the world of independence. I would like to extend a special welcome to the members of the Grape Creek ISD Board of Education this evening. Diane James, President. Fred Contreras, Vice President. Becky Buck, Secretary. Mike Diaz, Trustee. Casey Doucette, Trustee. Jimmy Hill, Trustee. And Scott Stevens, Trustee. Our Superintendent, Dr. Angie Smetana, and our Executive Director of School Operations, Leanne Stevens. These individuals dedicate a good deal of time and energy providing resources and establishing expectations for achievement and operation of our schools. I know they are proud of this graduating class, and I wish to express my appreciation to each of them for their support of these students. I would now like you to welcome to the stage Mr. Travis Shelton as he leads us in our pledges. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, for liberty and justice for all. Now for your Texas Pledge. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to the Texas, one state, under God, one and indivisible. For our invocation tonight, please welcome to the stage Mr. Dalton Penaluna. Please bow your heads with me. Dear Lord, thank you for allowing us to still be a part of a tradition and walk the stage. Thank you for allowing us to reach our goals, hopes, and dreams. Please protect ourselves and our families during these unpromising times. And thank you for being the light at the end of the tunnel. Amen. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the salutatorian of the class of 2020 with a GPA of 4.1856, Rachel Porter. Rachel is the daughter of Ken and Jennifer Porter. She participated in dual credit college classes, band, athletics, cheerleading, and is also an NHS member. Rachel received several highest average and Eagle awards while here at Grape Creek High School. She was also awarded the Excellence in History Award, the Ed Gonzalez Scholarship from the Grape Creek Fo Education Foundation, and received a Carr Scholarship. Rachel plans to attend Angelo State University and study health science to become a dietitian. Please welcome Rachel Porter to the podium. Hello classmates, faculty, family, and friends. Thank you so much for attending our graduation. Your support for the class of 2020 amidst this pandemic means the world to us. I have had the wonderful opportunity of attending Grape Creek schools since I was in kindergarten. This means that I've come to know many of my classmates very well, some a little too well. But I have learned a lot from my fellow classmates. Things like don't procrastinate and don't let Coach, Coach Morgan catch you on the gym floor with shoes on. Grape Creek's class of 2020 may be a lot of things, but we definitely are not the best behaved or the most studious. But what we are is strong. I have seen students balance school, extracurricular activities, jobs, and still pass their classes with flying colors. I have seen students have the misfortune of moving to Grape Creek their senior year, but then becoming a part of our family as if they've been here all along. I have seen students overcome numerous personal obstacles just so they can walk across the stage at the Janelle Center, only to get that taken away from them when a deadly virus storms America. Yet, here we are, celebrating our accomplishments in a new, less traditional way. We are strong. Anyone who goes to a small school or is active in extracurricular activities knows that senior year is not just about graduation. It's the experiences that go along with it. We were fortunate enough that we didn't miss football, 
volleyball, or basketball season. We finished marching and concert band, and some of us were able to have a little taste of victory at UIL meets, track meets, and at baseball and softball games. We also had the opportunity of having our homecoming parade and our senior pep rally. We even went from being the quietest grade level during the class yells to being the loudest in the gym for an entire pep rally. We are so blessed to have all of these last moments together. We may have missed prom, a few games and meets, and even some award ceremonies. But along the way, we made friends, we learned lessons, we followed trends, we made mistakes, but most importantly, we made memories. I think the class of 2020 is leaving Grape Creek with something other classes as a whole have never walked away with, fortitude. Fortitude is mental or emotional strength that enables courage in the face of adversity. Even though our senior year did not get the end it deserved, the lesson of fortitude and perseverance is sure to help us with problems we have down the road. Despite all the odds, we, my friends, are about to open the door to endless possibilities. A new chapter of our lives is about to unfold, and the uncertainties of what is ahead is what makes it so exciting. Our future is tomorrow, and each of you has proven to me that you have the strength to overcome any obstacle. After we leave today and all go our separate ways, I hope none of you forget that each of us has the capacity to do great things, even when faced with trials. Kobe Bryant once said, everything negative, pressure, challenges, is all an opportunity for me to rise. The class of 2020 has truly risen to the occasion and continues to prove the importance of strength within. We are relentless, we are brave, and we are proud to be Great Creek Eagles. Thank you. Our valedictorian this year is Alexis Briley. Alexis has accumulated a GPA of 4.2339 she is the daughter of Mandy Hasty and Kevin Briley. Alexis is a member of the National Honor Society and has been an integral part of the Screaming Eagle Band for four years as well as participating in powerlifting. Alexis has received several highest GPA and Eagle awards here at Grape Creek High School. Alexis received the Katie Franklin and Local Texas Exit Scholarship. She plans to attend the University of Texas at Austin and major in biochemistry and mathematics. Alexis is planning a career in lab research after college. Would you please welcome to the stage, Ms. Alexis Briley. Class of 2020, we have come so far. There have been so many things that we have gone through, done, and accomplished together. I wish I had the time to go through all of our memories together, but instead, I will go through some of the highlights. Let's go back to middle school. I remember getting here in the seventh grade. I was a scared kid who had just left all of her closest friends behind, and honestly, I didn't wanna be here at first. But people like Travis, Michael, Rachel, and a few others all decided that they would become friends with me, and they ended up making the rest of the year great. Seventh grade year is also the same one that our football team won the district championship, which was a huge deal at Grape Creek. Then in eighth grade, we were thrown a pretty strange curveball. We went through four different social studies teachers. Now, we all remember my mom trying to teach us as much as she could about US history, even though she was pretty much relearning it along with us. And even after all of that, we all still passed our star test and we all still graduated from middle school and went to high school. Now, freshman year was crazy. We got to do marching band and away football games and high school pep rallies for the first time ever. Even though we were underclassmen and got picked on a lot, <laughs> freshman year was honestly really, really fun just because of all the new things we could do. Now, there were a couple of crazy moments that I can think of, like 
do you remember in Mr. Amos's sixth period class when they were mowing the grass next to Hujay's ag shop and um, a piece of metal flew into the door of Mr. Amos's classroom? It almost decapitated Corbin, but it was a day that he had been talking a lot, so we kind of thought that Mr. Amos put a curse on him. And then, remember when Mr. Henderson made us do the Andy challenge in the hallway after second period one day? I had never seen so many kids drop to the floor so fast. Sophomore year was a really cool year for me and a few others. Our marching band advanced to area for the first time in a really long time. I remember being so excited to get to go and play one of my most favorite shows ever in Amarillo. It's a time I'll never forget, even if we didn't do so well at the actual competition. I also remember all of us stressing out over memorizing Bitty Bitty Bomb Bomb or Christmas songs for Mrs. Robles's class, along with the mini class parties where we would get our parents to buy or make ridiculous amounts of food so that way everyone had enough food to eat during McFarlane, La Bamba, or Selena. Now, junior year was crazy. You know how everyone says that junior year is the hardest year of high school? I would say that they were right, but obviously they weren't preparing kids for a pandemic their senior year. However, junior year was definitely a close second. At this point, we all started worrying about what we wanted to do in the future, how to start looking for colleges, and for some of us, even starting those classes. Dual credit classes were hard, but I do fondly remember playing The Sims 4 on our off days and Taylor yelling at me to not kill my Sims. I never listened. Junior year was also a lot of fun because it was our first prom for most of us, and honestly, the junior class killed it. We all looked amazing. Now, it was also simultaneously our last prom, which is heartbreaking to say the least. During junior year, a lot of us also started to have some really important leadership roles handed to us. Kaylee and I became drum majors, Travis was our new student body president, and Rachel and Yalissa were co-cheer captains for the second year in a row. We were starting to realize that we had a lot of maturing to do over the summer, and we knew that we would be destined for great things come our senior year. And that brings us mostly up to speed. Even though our senior year was cut short, I can think of some great memories. Things like getting together and creating our own homecoming dress-up day, finally putting in the effort for spirit sticks, and transforming into the really great young adults that we are, senior year has been awesome. Things like getting to cook for our faculty, go shopping for elementary kids for NHS, and missing school to go to games or UIL meets made my senior year amazing. Now here's the sad part. We didn't get to walk the halls one last time like we thought we would. In fact, looking back on that last week of school, most of us were gone either Thursday or Friday, or both, for track or powerlifting or softball and baseball. It's heartbreaking to think that we didn't even get to say goodbye to high school the way that we dreamed. It's hard knowing that even though we worked so hard, we didn't get to give our teachers that final goodbye or tell Mrs. Crawford one last time how much we appreciated her. We didn't get to listen to Mr. W play one last song during our last test. And we didn't get to listen to Mr. Amos' last dad joke. It's hard, and I know that. Luckily, the cutoff of our senior year does not define who we are. The class of 2020 is so much more than a ruined senior year. We are the future of our communities, our country, and our world. We are the next generation of great thinkers and doers. There are so many different qualities that the class of 2020 has. We are determined. There are some of us who didn't expect to graduate, <laughs> but look at where you are. Here you are, graduating in spite of one of the greatest global disasters to have ever happened. You made it, and you made it through the long nights of figuring out Google Classroom and through the feeling of wanting to give up. We are brave. The class of 2020 is not afraid to stand up for what they believe in, even if it's something that people don't want to hear. We are not afraid to use our voice to make a difference in our world. And we are mostly level-headed. <laughs> we know when to be stubborn and to stand up for things that are important to us, but we also know when to stay calm and collected and go with the flow. A very wise man who once gave me lots and lots of cookies said that being level-headed 
is about more than just seeing how many things you can stack on top of your head. Though this might not be completely relevant, stacking things on top of my head was my favorite pastime in Mr. Amos's economics class. And ironically enough, he's one of the people who taught me how to be level-headed. Those are just a few of the many great qualities our class shows. And I know that this isn't the way that any of us had planned on graduating and getting the diploma we worked so hard for. I can't make it up to you guys, but I can tell you what will come from this pandemic. The class of 2020 will be one that will be remembered for years. As some of us were brought into this world during a tragedy, we will exit our educational years during a pandemic. However, as we have dealt with all of the disappointments in less than nine weeks, we will deal with everything that this world has to throw at us. Grape Creek class of 2020, we are stronger than so many other people <laughs> because we know how to cope with disappointments and constant changes. We're resilient. Graduating in these circumstances proves that well enough. However, our resilience and our perseverance are the foundations we will use to go into our adult lives. We will go on to be teachers, nurses, doctors, welders, mechanics, managers, and so many other things. The class of 2020 will not let obstacles hurt us. No, instead, we will let those obstacles change us. We are the future class of 2020. Now do me and Mr. W one last favor. Don't do drugs and don't forget about Dre. And now we will be hearing from easily my favorite teacher and a very, very great man, Mr. Amos. Hi graduates. You didn't really think you'd get rid of me that easy, did you? I wanted a chance to talk with you tonight about a topic that is near and dear to my heart. So pay attention because, hey, old guy with a story here. My first year, I was asked to talk with a reporter from the Standard Times about traditions at GCHS. Heck, I don't even know, I said. I just got here. But now, honestly, I am a tradition. So let's mention a few others. Y'all should take notes, which means that I talk, you write. You don't talk, I don't write. Okay, pop quiz. What happens when you step out of line, say something you shouldn't, or pretend that my jokes aren't funny? That's right, your desk is gonna get kicked. Now, some of you, especially sixth period, probably think I've been kicking your desks because I'm not allowed to kick you, but you're wrong. The reason I do it is to show you that I can call you out for something you did and still like the person that you are. If we're doing life right, we should all be accountable. Whenever any of us makes a little mistake, we take the consequences, we move on and try to do better. I truly hope you know that. Another tradition is that every senior who's been in my class for over a decade now has had a chance to sign their names on the floor in our classroom. This year, we didn't come back after spring break, but with a little creativity, we made it happen. All of you had the chance to sign the day that you walked the stage, and I really hope everybody did. Every once in a while, you get the chance to make your mark in life. And I want you to know that the mark that you make matters to me. You've all heard me say I'm taking my building with me when I finally retire. Just going to hitch it behind my truck, drag it home, take out the carpet, clear code over all the names so they'll always be there. You're going to have a lot more chances in life to leave your mark. And sometimes it may even seem like nobody knows about it. Believe me, somebody always does. Think about that. Every time you leave somebody with a memory, try to make it a good one. A very spe special tradition here at Grape Creek started even before me. The first graduating class gave roses to the special people in their lives during their commencement ceremony. Some years, I've gotten a handful of flowers. Some years, it's been a big bunch. One time I got a stem, just a stem full of thorns with the flower just carefully removed. There have been years when I thought I was ready by the end of May just to strangle every single senior with my bare hands. And then I'd come home from graduation with some flowers and think, oh, that class was the best. 
I'm going to miss them so much. <laughs> Truthfully, I don't claim to know what treasures may be stored up for me in heaven, but there isn't much I could possibly treasure more than the flowers I've gotten from Grape Creek students. And my heart breaks that this stupid virus messed up our flower ceremony this year. I mean, we all know I would have gotten, what, at least a gazillion of them, right? <clears throat> right? I want you to remember, though, that little things mean a lot. Tell people things. Tell them you remember, remember them. Let them know you care. It matters, I promise you. When we first started online this spring, I said I believed with all my heart we'd be back together in class before it was all over. Well, even I can't be right about everything. And I know I owe a lot of you guys hugs because I said you'd have to wait until graduation. Well, you graduated and I still owe you. What can I say? Someday we'll return to whatever passes for normal. And if I see you then, I'll be happy to kick your desk one more time, tell you to take your hat off, or especially to give you a hug. Although I do want to remind some of you guys not to get too carried away. Mrs. Amos is still a very jealous woman. There are a lot of other special memories I could mention, like cookies at UIL meets, fishing in the middle school pond, seeing how many things some of you could stack on top of your head, having to loan you a pencil every single day, even though it says right on the front of the building that this is a school and you should know by now to bring a pencil. Playing schools out on the cafeteria sound system after finals are over. Playing Margaritaville right after that when the students are gone and it's just us teachers. But we don't have all night, and there's just one more thing I really want to say. Now, it's probably not going to make Mrs. Matana too happy, but as some of you are soon to find out, sometimes I post stuff on Facebook. Like that time a class tried to figure out who would play which position if they made a football team out of former presidents. Or that time a student fell asleep, <laughs> I let him sleep through the bell, and when he finally woke up and he didn't know where he was, I told him it was fourth period and it was really only third period, and he ran to the wrong classroom. <laughs> Mostly, though, I post about the good things you do. Pictures of UIL medals, stories about your achievements, times when you persevered and overcome the odds. And when I do, I always tell the Facebook world the same thing. I say, I'm proud of my eagles. And that's what I really wanted to tell you tonight. This year has been a trial, and you made it through to the end. Nobody could have predicted what would happen, and a lot of other schools didn't handle it nearly as well. According to a national poll in early April, a little over half this country's students had fallen through the cracks. They weren't online, they weren't trying, but not you, not Grape Creek. You guys took care of business, because you are my eagles, and I am so very proud of you. Superintendent Smetana and the Board of Trustees. The students in the class of 2020 have completed the requirements set forth by the State of Texas and Grape Creek ISD. These students are ready to receive their diplomas. At this time, please welcome to the stage Dr. Angie Smetana, Superintendent of Grape Creek ISD, to accept the class of 2020. The Great Creek Board of Trustees and I are pleased to announce that the seniors who have met the requirements of the Great Creek Independent School District and the Texas Education Agency are eligible to receive their high school diplomas. To the parents and graduates, we want to say thank you so very much for your support you have given throughout their years and all that you have done and continue to do for this school district and community. To our seniors, we wish you continued success and the best of luck in the future. We know you will make us all proud as you leave Grape Creek High School. I love you all. Congratulations. Mr. Four, you may present the graduates. Alexis Briley. Parents, Mandy and Scott Hasty, Kevin and Leanne Briley. She has many awards, uh, NHS, Community Service, Valedictorian, the highest ranking senior in our class, NHS Vice President, Eagle, Eagle Award, Powerlifting, she had the top GPA in multiple classes. She participated in many things at Grape Creek High School, such as NHS, Student Council, FCCLA, dual credit courses, band, powerlifting, 
Um, she has a few scholarships as well. Uh, local Texas X's scholarship for $500. The Katie Franklin scholarship for $1,000. After graduation, she plans on attending the University of Texas at Austin. Rachel Porter. Parents, Ken and Jennifer Porter. Rachel has many awards while at Grape Creek High School. And most recently, she received the Excellence in History Award for the 2020 school year. She has, um, she's the second highest ranking senior at Grape Creek High School. She has the highest GPA in English one, Algebra one, World Geography, Business, World History, Financial Literacy, and Health. She's received Eagle Awards in Algebra two and Physics, an MVP award in Volleyball and Cheer, an Eagle Award in Basketball, and Female Athlete of the 2019-2020 school year. She's participated at NHS, Student Council, Dual Credit, Band, and many sports. As far as scholarships, she received the Carr Scholarship, the St. Teresa Parish Scholarship, and the A. Gonzalez Scholarship from GCEF. After graduation, she plans on studying at ASU and earning a degree in Health Science. Taylor Grace Parker, mother Sharon Parker. Awards, Taylor's top 10% of the class and the number three graduating senior with a GPA of 3.9207. And she graduates with the STEM endorsement. She was active in high school, participating in NHS, dual credit, and cheerleading among other things. She will be planning on attending Angelo State University, and she will be receiving the Carr Scholarship and LeGrand Scholarship. <laughs> Michael Samaniego. Mother, Margaret McGinnis. Michael is uh, in the top 10% as the fourth highest ranking senior. He's uh, received Eagle Character Awards through his high school career. He's also partic participated in National Honor Society, yearbook, dual credit courses. He's a stage manager in one act play and band, as well as playing tennis. After graduation, Michael plans on entering the workforce. Travis Shelton. Parents, Christy and Terry Shelton. As far as awards for Travis, he was third place at the regional FCCLA uh, contest. He was actually hopefully going to state this spring, but that got cut off a little bit. He is very active in uh, things at Grape Creek High School, treasurer of the NHS, the executive president on student council, as well as class president. Participated in FCCLA and band. He re received a $1,500 FCCLA Regional Scholarship and after graduation, plans to go into the workforce. <laughs> Kaylee Moss. Parents, Amy Williamson and Stephen Moss. This year for awards, she was top 10% and finished the year with a 3.5390 GPA. As far as activities, she was in NHS. She's a drum major in the band and a manager for basketball. After graduation, Kaylee plans on attending Angelo State University. Benjamin Armanderas, parents, Crystal Lopez, Oscar Armanderas. He's had a few awards um, in athletics at Grape Creek High School. He made the regional qualifying turn, the track meet, and the 200, the 400 meter relay, and the two by 400 meter relay. He played football at Grape Creek High School, earning second team all district on defense. He's also voted most handsome and most athletic at Grape Creek High School. After graduation, Benjamin Plans on entering the workforce.
Joshua Barrera. Parents, Juanita Gandar and Salvador Barrera. As far as awards go for Joshua, he's a two-time state alternate for the ATTSB, the All-Region Band. He participated in multiple things at Grape Creek High School. Um, he was in NHS, yearbook, band, and his high school career he also participated in cross country and track. After graduation, Joshua plans on attending college. Brent Bogman. Parents, Melanie and Alan Bogman. Brent plans on after graduation going into game design. Adriana Campbell. Her parents, Tammy and John Campbell. After attending Grape Creek, she plans on, uh, and graduation, she plans on entering the workforce. Destiny Campbell, parents, Effie and Alex Flores. While in high school, Destiny was in sports and cheerleading and track. After graduation, Destiny plans on attending Angelo State University. Ava Jane Capizzuto. Parents, Trisha Chira and Jason Capizzuto. After graduation, Ava plans on looking into tattooing and animation. Brooke Carlton. Parents, Michelle Hoover and Brian Carlton. Awards, she's received an Eagle Character Award this year at Grape Creek High School. At her previous high school, she also lettered for three years in choir and participated in theater. After graduation, Brooke plans to attend Cosmetology College. Xavier Castilleja, mother Misty Castilleja. In high school, Xavier was in NHS, student council, FCCLA. He's received a few scholarships from Great Creek Education Foundation, the Carol Gotcher Scholarship for $1,000, a $5,295 Pell Grant, 
a Texas Excellence Grant of $10,000. After graduation, he's going to be heading to San Antonio to study computer engineering at the University of Texas at San Antonio. David Ian Corbin. Parents, David and Susie Corbin. While at Grape Creek High School, David participated in FFA. After graduation, he plans to enter the workforce, and he currently works at Western Towers. Parker Costanzo. His parents are Bill and Heidi, Heidi Costanzo. Uh, some of his awards, Lone Star FFA State De Degree. Um, he participated in basketball and track in FFA in high school. Um, he received a $500 West Central Wireless Scholarship. After graduation, he plans to obtain a degree in criminal justice. Uh, he's going to Howard College. Lawrence Constanzo. Parents are Bill and Heidi Constanzo. Some awards uh, he's received, Lone Star FFA, state degree. He's participated in FFA in high school. He's received a $1,000 Dwayne Childress scholarship. After graduation, he plans to pursue a degree in criminal justice, um, and he's gonna start off his college career at Howard College. Tristan Davidson. Parents, Lloyd and Judy Davidson. While at Grape Creek High School, Tristan partic participated in FFA. He has a scholarship to attend ASU, and uh, he will be, uh, he's excited about Angelo State University. Um, also while in high school, he's been a YMCA certified lifeguard and swim instructor for the past three years. Cairo De La Torre, mother Nancy Perez. Cairo was very active in athletics in high school. Um, he participated in football and track. Football, he was second team all district defense. He was um, a member of the four by 100, four by two, uh, 200 teams that qualified uh, to go to regionals at track. After graduation, Cairo plans to work in the oil field. James Hagen De La Garza. Parents, Bernie and Melanie Garza. As far as awards go, Hagen was honorable mention in basketball. He participated in multiple sports at Grape Creek, he played football, basketball, and track. He also was in FFA. He will be attending Howard College in San Angelo, Texas, planning to pursue a career in heating and air conditioning. Tegan De Leon, mother Rachel De Leon, 
while at Great Creek. Tegan did quite a few things uh, in sports. He was in football, powerlifting, and track. He was actually Defensive Player of the Week one week. Um, he also was a member of the National Honor Society. After graduation, he plans to join the military. He will be joining the, the Navy. Angelina Dominguez. Parents, Adam Dominguez, Melinda Dominguez, and Pauline White. She was in FCCLA at Grape Creek, and after graduation, Angelina plans to enter the workforce. Devin Duncan, parents, his mom, Crystal Gawney, stepdad, Robert Brockman, and his father, Matt Duncan. Uh, Devin has a few awards. Uh, he was honorable mention as a linebacker and a left tackle, and also honorable mention in basketball. Um, while at Grape Creek High School, he was in sports for football, basketball, baseball, and track, as well as FFA. After graduation, Devin attends, is planning on attending Howard College. Israel Echeverria He's here with his mother Miros Echeverria He participated in, in multiple things while at Grape Creek High School He was in FFA track and football This past year in football he has honorable mention all district offense and defense He is also 2019 football team captain T. Joseph Edgen. Parents, David and Glenna Edgen. He has a few awards uh, while in high school, the UIL Invitational District and Regional Places um, in academic contests. He's been on the one-act play, all-star cast, FCCLA district, regional, and state places. He's also participated in high school uh, student council. He has been a manager at, in football at previous high school, and also one-act play. After graduation, Key plans on attending Howard College, then Angelo State University to major in early childhood development and business. <laughs> Christian Chase Fleming. He's here with his grandparents. Jesse and Beth Webb. While in high school, Chase participated in multiple sports, in cross country, track, and football. After graduation, Chase plans to enter into the workforce. Mandy Renee Foley. Parents, Sheila and Merle Foley. A few awards for Mandy. She had the Eagle Award for Spanish One, an All Academic Good Citizen Award. As far as things she participated in Grape Creek High School, she was in band playing the flute. In sports, 
She spent four years playing softball as well as volleyball. Her, she will be attending Howard College and she will be going into cosmetology. Jack Followell. Parents, Jack and Jamie Followell. Some awards. Jack placed second place in the Ag Met Contest in San Angelo, the Tom Green County Show. He also has been one of the most faithful managers in Grape Creek uh, for all the sports and football and baseball and all those. Um, I know the coaches speak highly of him. After graduation, Jack is planning to uh, go to work here at school and uh, other occupations here around Tom Green County. And uh, hopefully uh, he'll be joining the workforce soon. Adrian Garfias. Parents, Graviella and Francisco Garfias. While at Grape Creek High School, Adrian participated in sports and football and baseball, as well as FFA. After graduation, he'll be attending Howard College, pursuing a degree in Master Mechanics. Adam Gonzalez. His parents are Robin Harms and Vincent Martinez. While in high school, Adam participated in band. Brianna Ureli Gonzalez Viejo. She's here with her brother, Armando Gonzalez. While in high school, she participated in yearbook. After graduation, Brianna, she's gonna plan on attending Howard College for radiology. Lorena Guajardo. Parents, Graviela Garfias and Francisco Garfias. While in high school, Lorena participated in band and a few sports, powerlifting and track. After graduation, she plans to pursue a degree in kinesiology from Angelo State University. Anthony Harden, parents, Kathy and Charles McCollum. After graduation, Anthony's planning on pursuing his music career.
Damian Hernandez. His parents are John and Sonia Hernandez. Um, in high school, he participated in multiple sports, football, track, and baseball, as well as FFA. After graduation, Damian plans on going into the workforce. Edgar E. Huerta. Mother, Mag Magdalena Rodriguez. While at Grape Creek High School, Edgar participated in multiple sports, football, basketball, baseball, and track. After graduation, Edgar plans on attending Howard College. Brian Wichapa. Parents, Jose and Ruby Wichapa. He's received a few awards at Grape Creek High School, Business, English, and he's received the Eagle Award three different times. He's participated in FCCLA as well as sports and basketball. After graduation, he, he plans on continuing into his entrepreneurship. Renee Kelso. Her parents are John and Michelle Kelso. In high school, Renee's participated in sports and cheer. She's been a mascot. Um, she is a manager for the cheerleading squad and also in volleyball. Um, after graduation, she plans on attending Howard College and then ASU. Bob Labastida. Parents, Irma and Juan Labastida. Bob's been in band and sports. He was in football and track. Um, and his plans after graduation is to be a licensed plumber. Jimena Leja, parents, Jose Leja and Rosa Leja. While at Grape Creek High School, Jimena participated in softball, and after graduation, she plans to attend Howard College. John Warner Linden II. Parents, John Linden, Tiffany and Jeremy Crane, and Crystal and David Gilbert. John was in band, also did color guard and FFA. After graduation, he plans to go into the workforce. I'm looking into mechanics and human public services. Ulyssa Longoria, parents, Ray and Adelina Longoria. Awards, sophomore year, she was MVP for track. Junior year, Cheer Eagle Award, class favorite. 
most athletic, senior year homecoming queen. She also was in NHS, band, and in sports she was a cheerleader, track, and in volleyball. After graduation, Elissa plans to attend Angelo State University. <laughs> Camilla Ponce Lorich. Parents, Lucy Lovano and George Lovano. While at Grape Creek High School, she particip participated in your book. After graduation, Camilla plans to head back to Brazil. Ivan Martinez. Parents, Alfredo and Gabriela Martinez. While in high school, Ivan participated in band. After graduation, Ivan plans on going into the workforce. Jeremiah Matlock. Parents, Gerald and Tessa Matlock. After graduation, Jeremiah plans on entering the workforce. Diane Mir, here with her father Jesus Mir. While in high school, she participated in yearbook and played softball. After graduation, she plans to continue at school and work hard towards her future goals. Brianna May Morris. Parents, Tracy and Michael Morris. While in high school, Brianna has participated in multiple things. She's been in basketball, softball, stood in the flags, and at her previous high school, she was a state qualifier in golf. After graduation, she's gonna be doing some courses online, but she plans on attending Angelo State University. Chance Dalton Penaluna. Parents, Michael Smith and Debbie Penaluna. He has a few awards uh, from FFA. Last year, in, in his, with his tractor, he placed second at the San Antonio Show and fourth in Houston. This year, the tractor team was first in the San Angelo Show and fourth in San Antonio. He's participated in dual credit as well as FFA basketball, cross country, and football. He plans on attending either Howard College or ASU and obtain an agribusiness degree. Trey Phillips, parents Mike and Stacy Phillips. As far as awards, he completed high school in actually September and uh, he's already finished his first semester of college um, before he's uh, had his high school graduation, which is unique. Um, he is going to continue with college and he's working on a major in business. 
I'm at Howard. Isaiah Rangel. Parents, Christine Gutierrez and Luis Hernandez. While in high school, Isaiah participated in FFA. After graduation, Isaiah plans to attend Howard College. Diana Saldana. Parents, Eleno and Maria Saldana. Diana was in student council and dual credit while at Grape Creek High School. After graduation, she plans to accomplish all the goals she has her mind set to. Um, one of those being um, getting her nursing degree. She's gonna start off at Howard College and then hopefully transfer to Angelo State University. Armando Sanchez III. Parents, Armando Sanchez Jr. and Maria Samaniego. Armando was in band and dual credit classes at Grape Creek High School. After graduation, he planned, he's gonna start off at Howard College and plans to pursue film production. Destiny Marie Sanchez. Parents, Jasmine Carrillo and Edgar Carrillo. While at Great Creek High School, she participated in basketball, track, softball, and cross country. She plans on attending Howard College and going into dental hygiene. Brody Seeley. His parents are James and Nancy Seeley. Awards, uh, Brody was third place in the Ag Met contest in the Tom Green County Show. He uh, participated in FFA while at Grape Creek High School. After graduation, he plans on entering the workforce, currently working at Intertel. Manny Vargas. Parents, Juan and Selena Vargas, and Tammy Pizer and Freddie Davis. While at Grape Creek High School, Manny participated in football as well as FFA. After graduation, Manny plans to work for Kodiak Gas Services. Memory Vasquez Cochran. Parents are Jamie and Art Cochran. Memories participate in a few things in high school. 
She's been a member of the yearbook team as well as competed in FFA. Ray Yabara. Parents Molly and Randy Yabara. Ray has participated in tennis this year and has been very successful. Brought home the first Grip Creek gold medal. He placed first in uh, the tennis in, early in, a, in the early Inventational. Also in the Holly ISD tournament, he's singles first place. He also was an ROTC second lieutenant whenever he attended Central. After high school, he plans on attending Howard College. And now we will have the benediction by Ms. Kaylee Moss. Please bow your heads with me in prayer. Dear Lord, you have given us the strength to finish our senior year as strong as we possibly could. We were thrown for a loop, but you were here for us through every step of the way. You have guided us our whole lives and gotten us to where we are today and where we will be in our near future. We thank you for leading us into the path we were intended for, and for those that aren't sure of that path yet, I pray you make it known to them what is best for them and their growth. I pray that you keep guiding the class of 2020 in all our decisions and plans, and thank you for giving us such an amazing school and staff to help us get to this point in our life. May the Lord bless and keep you all. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you, family and friends, for your attendance and support of these students, and congratulations, class of 2020. I remember that first day, feeling like a king, sitting out in my truck, freshman wishing they were me. Old Chesney singing about them boys of fall, yeah, this is our year, we were gonna win it all. It was skipping class, it was wasting gas, always paying cash from mowing grass that I last summer. We were living fast on top of the world, trying to find a guy old enough to buy a little cheap wine for you, girl. Game days, we were jerseys in the hall, yeah, barely ate. Last forever, my old letter jacket on. It never looked better than it did on her shoulders. Oh, but now that we're older, wonder where she is now, or if she ever thinks about living fast on top of the world, trying to find a guy old enough to buy a little cheap wine for you, girl. Game days, we were jerseys in the hall. Yeah, barely eighteen, but a bunch. Know it all Whoa Blink an eye and then you're there Whoa On a gym floor and folding chairs Yeah, yeah Throwing caps up in the air Couple of birds shedding tears Town, I take a lap around and I can't help but smile because we were 
were big shots for a little while Senior year Senior year Senior year Senior year I remember that first day Feeling like a king Sitting out in my truck Freshman wishing they were me Another turning point, a fork stuck in the road Time grabs you by the rest, directs you where to go So make the best of this test and don't ask why It's not a question but a lesson learned in time It's something unpredictable, but in the end is right I hope you had the time of your life So take the photographs and still frames in your mind Hanging on a shelf in good health and good time Tattoos and memories and dead skin on trial For what it's worth, it was worth all the while It's something unpredictable, but in the end is right I hope you had the time of your life Something unpredictable, but in the end it's right I hope you had the time of your life It's something unpredictable, but in the end it's right I hope you had the time of your life Flashing light Nothing better to do On a Tuesday night But give me hell Where are you headed? What are you out for? We don't see much of you Around here anymore I guess it's just as well Once upon a time you had it all You let everybody down You're always 17 in your hometown Running from your folks, running from the law Running from love, running from your fears Running from it all you keep on running, boy You run yourself in the ground 
Still looks the same. She probably won't even remember my name. Just like she didn't back then. Is she married? Is she doing fine? Does she know about all the nights I laid away crying? Just to know her hand. The door opens and I run away Just like the same old clown You're always 17 in your hometown Running from your folks, running from the law Running from love, running from your fear Running from it all Keep on running, boy You run yourself in the ground You're always 17 in your hometown miss me no tears will fall no one's gone away when I hit that road my boots are broken my brain is sore from keeping up with their little world I got a heavy load Gonna leave them on just like before I big city bound You're always 17 in your hometown Running from your folks, running from the law Running from love, running from your fear Running from it all Keep on running, boy You run yourself in the ground You're always 17 Yeah, you're always 17 You're always 17 in your 